بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر فید اللہ اینڈ یو آر واچنگ ایزی میتھمیٹکس وی شیل لرن ڈفرینٹ میتھڈ فار سولوشن ٹو سم پرٹیکولر ٹائپ آف آرڈینری ڈفرینشیل اکویشن آف دا فسٹ آرڈر اینڈ فسٹ ڈگری وچ یو کین سی آن دا اسکرین ان دس ویڈیو we shall study the first one separable equations these are the simplest type of equations let us see the definition we say that a differential equation of the form dy over dx is equal to f of x into h of y is called a separable equation or an equation with separable variables or this can be defined as an equation whose all functions of x can be transferred towards dx and all functions of y towards dy is called a separable equation equation 1 can also be written as dy into 1 over h of y is equal to f of x into dx and now just integrating both side we can get the solution let us see an example of the separable equations we have 1 plus x dy plus y dx is equal to 0 this is a separable equation because we can separate the coefficients this can be written as 1 over y dy plus 1 over 1 plus x dx is equal to 0 and now just integrating each term we can get the solution let us solve some separable equations question number 1 solve dy by dx is equal to x over y square to solve this problem we shall separate the variables from equation number 1 we have dy is equal to x by y square dx this implies y square dy is equal to x dx now integrating both side we have integration of y square with respect to y an integration of x with respect to x which gives y cube divided by 3 is equal to x square divided by 2 plus constant of integration c1 note one thing that we shall add constant of integration only at one side of the equation because if i add c2 on the left hand side and c1 on the right hand side of equation then again c1 minus c2 is equal to some constant so better to use only one constant now after simplification we have 2y cube is equal to 3x square plus 6c1 this implies that 2y cube is equal to 3x square plus c where c is equal to 6c1 and that is the required solution for the given problem question number 2 solve 2x cos y dx 
minus x square plus one sine y dy equal to zero. To solve this problem, the first task is to separate the variable. So we can see there is cos y with dx. We shall divide each term by cos y and will bring it towards dy. Similarly, we can see with the dy, there is x square plus one. So dividing each term with x square plus one, we can bring x square plus one towards dx. So let us solve equation number one, which gives two x divided by x square plus one dx minus sine y divided by cos y dy. And now we can integrate each term. So we have integration of 2x divided by x square plus 1 dx plus we write plus in integration of minus sine y divided by cos y dy is equal to zero. Now, after integrating this, we have ln of x square plus one plus ln of cos y is equal to ln of c. Here, ln c is a constant of integration. So if all terms are in the log form, we can replace c by ln c. And the formula for integration which we use here is if there is a function f in the denominator and it has its derivative in the numerator, then integration of this is ln f plus c. Now, after simplification, we have, using the rule of log, we have x square plus 1 into cos y is equal to ln c. We know that log m plus log n is equal to log m into log n. So now canceling ln from both sides, we have x square plus 1 into cos y is equal to c. And this is the required solution of the given problem. Question number 3. Solve the initial value problem 1 plus 2 y square dy is equal to y cos x dx with the given initial conditions y of 0 is equal to 1. Let us say this is equation number 1 and this one is equation number 2. The first task is to separate variables from 1. So let us simplify equation number one. We can write one plus two y square whole divided by y, dividing both sides by y into dy is equal to cos x dx. After simplification, we get one over y plus 2y into dy is equal to cos x dx. Now let us integrate both sides. So we have 1 over y dy plus 2 integration of y dy is equal to cos x dx. Now integration of 1 over y is ln y plus 2 
integration of y is y square divided by 2 is equal to integration of cos x. We know that differentiation of sine is cos, so integration of cos is sine. This is sine x plus constant of integration. Now 2 can be cancelled with 2. From here we can get ln y plus y square is equal to sine x plus c. Now we can use the initial conditions from 2 we have y of 0 is equal to 1 which means at x is equal to 0 the value of y is 1. So putting these values in equation number 3 we have ln 1 plus 1 square is equal to sine 0 plus c. Now ln 1 is 0 plus 1 sine 0 is 0 plus c. From here we can get that c is equal to 1. So using this value of c in 3, therefore 3 becomes ln y plus y square is equal to sine x plus 1. And that is the required solution for the given problem. That's all.